Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to find the inverse of one-to-one -one functions. So in order for you to find the inverse of a one-to-one -one function, these are the steps that you're going to follow. First, write the function in the form y equals f of x. And then, the second step is interchange x and y. That means you make x y and you make y x. And lastly, you have to solve for y. Example, find the inverse of f of x equals 2x plus 7. So we have to write this as y equals f of x. So y equals 2x plus 7. The second step is we have to interchange x and y. So make this x and then make this y. And then you will have x equals 2y plus 7. And then after that, solve for y. Since we are solving for y, we need to isolate y from the others. So there's a 2 with y and a plus 7. So this plus 7 should be on the other side. So subtract 7 from both sides of the equation. You will have x minus 7 equals 2y. And then, divide both sides by 2 or multiply both sides by 1 half, you will get x minus 7 over 2 equals y. Or that is y equals x minus 7 over 2 by the symmetric property of equality. So, this x minus 7 over 2 is the inverse of of the given function f of x equals 2x plus 7. And we write the inverse of f of x as this. And we read this as f inverse of x equals x minus 7 over 2. Example number 2. Find the inverse of f of x equals 1 third x minus 4. So if you want to try this, you can pause this video and try it yourself and then find out if you got the correct answer. Okay, let's follow the steps. Write this in the form y equals f of x. So it's going to be y equals 1 third x minus 4. Make this x and make this one y. So we have x equals 1 third y minus 4. And then solve for y. We have to add 4 to both sides of the equation. So we're going to have x plus 4. And then negative 4 plus 4 will be 0. So we will be left with 1 third y on the right side of the equation. And then how are we going to solve for y if we have this? We will multiply both sides by 3. So if we multiply both sides by 3, we will get this one. We will multiply x plus 4 by 3. So we have to distribute 3 to x and 4. So 3 times x is 3x. And then 3 times 4 is positive 12 equals uh, here on the other side. The 3 will cancel. So that's equals y. And then again, by the symmetric property of equality, we can write this as y equals 3x plus 12. And that is the inverse of the function. So the inverse of the given function is f inverse of x equals 3x plus 12. So if you got this uh, right, then you can comment down below for if you got the correct answer. Example number 3. Find the inverse of g of x equals x cubed plus 6. So, write this in the form y equals f of x. So, y equals x cubed plus 6. Interchange x and y, you will have x equals 
y cubed plus 6. And then, add negative 6 to both sides of the equation. Or you can transfer this to the other side. Copy x, so positive 6 would be negative 6 here. And then, we will be left with y cubed on the right. And then, since we are solving for y, we can... Uh, get the cube root of both sides of the equation. So cube root of x minus 6 will be this. We can't simplify that anymore. And the cube root of y cubed is y. Or you can write it that, uh, that as y equals cube root of x minus 6. So that is the inverse of the given function. So the inverse of g of x equals x cubed plus 6 is g inverse of x equals cube root of x minus 6. For this fourth example, you can again pause this video and uh, try it yourself and find out if you can get the correct answer. Okay, so first step, write it as y equals f of x. Here in this case, y equals g of x. So y equals 2 minus x cubed. Interchange x and y. Copy the others. And then solve for y. Since we are solving for y, we can uh, transfer x here to the right and y cubed to the left. And if you will transfer negative y cubed to the left, it's going to be positive y cubed. 2 is still here on the right, so nothing changes. And then x is transferred to the right, so it's going to be negative x. And then since this is uh, y cubed, you're going to have uh, y equals cube root of 2 minus x. That is by extracting the cube root of both sides of the equation. So a cube root of y cubed is y, and cube root of 2 minus x is still the same. You cannot simplify that anymore. So that is the inverse of g of x, cube root of 2 minus x. Did you get it right? Number 5. Okay, find the inverse of h of x equals x minus 1 over x plus 2. So this time, this is a rational function. So the first four are a linear and a cubic function. This one is a rational function. So same steps. Write it in the form y equals f of x. In this case, y equals h of x. So y equals x minus 1 over x plus 2. And then interchange x and y, make y x and make x y. Copy the others. And then solve for y. So to get rid of the denominator, we will multiply both sides by y plus 2. So we need to distribute x. So x times y or y times x, we will get xy. And 2 times x is 2x. And then here, y plus 2 and y plus 2 will cancel. So we will be left with y minus 1. Since we are solving for y, we will uh, put terms with y on one side of the equation and the terms without y on the other side. So in this case, um, we will put uh, y on the left and 2x on the right, okay? But if you choose to put xy on the right and negative 1 on the left, it's fine. You're still going to have the same answer. Okay, here, let's continue. So we have here, uh, if you transfer y to the left, it's going to be negative y. You just copy xy and then copy negative 1 here and then Positive 2x transfer to the right is going to be negative 2x. And then since we are solving for y, we will factor y here. So y is the greatest common factor. So factoring uh, GCF. So we have here y times x minus 1. So if you will put y here outside, you will be left with x. And here you will be left with 
negative 1. Copy the others here. And since we are solving for y, we will divide both sides by x minus 1. So you're going to have 2x or negative 2x minus 1 over x minus 1 here. So this can already be your final answer. Or you can multiply both the numerator and denominator by negative 1 to have lesser number of minus signs. So if you multiply negative 1 to the numerator and negative 1 to the denominator, it's just uh, the same uh, rational expression because a negative 1 over negative 1 is 1 and 1 is the multiplicative identity. So uh, the answer will still be the same. So if you multiply this by negative 1, that's 2x. If you multiply this by negative 1, that's positive 1. Over, if you multiply x by negative 1, that's going to be negative x. I just put that there. And then if you multiply negative 1 by negative 1, it's going to be positive 1. Okay? So the inverse of this function here is uh, 2x plus 1 over 1 minus x. But if your answer is negative 2x minus 1 over x minus 1, that is still correct. They are just the same. Okay, last example. Here, you can uh, pause again the video and uh, do it on your own. And then find out later on if uh, you get this, the correct answer. Okay. So here, first step, write it as uh, y equals h of x. So you have y equals 3x plus 2 over 2x minus 1. Interchange x and y, so x equals 3y plus 2 over 2y minus 1. And then multiply both sides by 2y minus 1, so you will get 2y times x is 2xy, negative 1 times x is negative x, and then 2y minus 1 will cancel, and uh, you will be left with 3y plus 2. Since we are solving for y, uh, put the terms with y on one side and those without y on the other side. In this case, we will put 3y here to the left and negative x to the right. And we will have, okay, 2xy still here. Transfer 3y here, it's going to be negative 3y equals transfer x to the other side, negative, uh, negative x to the other side, so negative x will be positive x copy plus 2 and then factor y we will have okay you divide this by y it's 2x you divide this by y negative 3 so this is just the factoring a common factor y and then copy x plus 2 and then since we are solving for y divide both sides by 2x minus 3 so that's going to be x plus 2 over 2x minus 3 so that is the inverse of the function h. So h inverse of x equals x plus 2 over 2x minus 3.
So that's it. Thank you for watching and uh, I hope you learned and now you know already how to uh, solve for the inverse of a one-to-one -one function.